Pilipinas, uh, sinasalamin niya yung uh, pangdaigdig ng uh, uh, problema no, ng uh, pagdating sa plastic pollution. So, halos lahat ngayon uh, ng binibenta sa atin sa komersyo, uh, sa merkado, uh, nakabalot sa plastic. Diba? Whether or not single-use plastics, isang gamitan lang, tapon, or throw-away plastics, no? uh, na parang dinesign siya, ang dinesign nyo siya para itapon eh. Uh, hindi mo siya marerecyclo, hindi mo siya, hindi mo naman siya marereuse, hindi mo rin siya, hindi naman siya biodegradable. Uh, so, uh, kahit ano sabihin mo, ang patutunguhan nun ay disposal. Siguro hindi lahat napupunta sa karagatan, pero napupunta pa rin yan sa dump site, sa landfill o nagkalat sa uh, kalikasan. It is unfortunate that many of these pollutions are in fact uh, anthropological in nature no? because of our irresponsibility in properly disposing our waste. That's the reason why we accumulate a lot of waste and as a result, uh, it resulted to a number of catastrophes including flooding uh, and uh, many other uh, kind of man-made disasters that have been wreaking havoc to our environment in the last several years. Kailangan ng concerted effort para masolve yung problema. Hindi lang individual, hindi lang ang gobyerno. Pero malaki ang um, papel ng mga korporasyon para magbawas ng uh, single-use plastic sa kanilang uh, business model. There are technological solutions as well as social and political solutions to the problem. Uh, with regards to political and social solutions, it would be about behavioral change. Uh, this would involve education and awareness uh, of societies, of countries, of nations. And we have made so much uh, progress in, in recent months with regards to social behavioral change. I believe that may factor, may factor ang mga behavior ng bawat isang tao. Ibig sabihin yung pagsunod, pag-implement, no, alamin nila kung ano yung tama at mali. Malaki, malaking factor yun. Siguro kung mas gagawin, may strengthen natin yung implementation at education. May malaking bagay yun to save the environment. Primarily, we have to raise the awareness. Perception of people matters. We cannot expect an output if the frame of mind of people are different from what is expected. If we are to create the kind of life that we are looking for, a better way of life. But really, the plastic problem has to be solved. No, it is going to be uh, dangerous to the overall the environment because they do not break down. I am passionate uh, with microorganisms, particularly mga fungi, mga hamag, mga mushrooms. Uh, pa lang ay mahilig na ako sa mga iba't ibang microorganisms. So College of Science, uh, I, I'm given the chance to hand down my group of students to be the thesis advisor. And uh, nag, nag isip ako ng mga bagay na makakatulong sa ating kapaligiran. Sabi ko, I'm being a microbiologist, baka ka ako magamit ko yung talent ko, yung ako kaalaman para makatuklas ng solusyon sa, sa malaking problema ito. At bigla ay naisip ko na baka merong uh, hungkus na matatagpuan ng grupo ko na pwedeng uh, makatunaw dito sa mga plastics. Gawin itong isang simpleng material at uh, baka hopefully pwede rin maging pataba sa lupa. Uh, 
So, ganun ang aming ginagawa ngayon. We are on the lookout for fungi that may biodegrade uh, plastics. Kasi itong ating problema sa plastics ay talagang napakalaki. I believe science is, uh, has a uh, power no, to solve this big problem. No? Pag ginamit lang ng tama yung scientific method, eh, pwedeng gamitin din ito na solusyon sa problema, mga problema ang kinaharap ng ating daydig. We have done already a lot of researches wherein ginagamit namin yung bacteria at saka fungi para mag-remediate ng mga heavy metals, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and also ng mga plastics like yung mga styrene, uh, degrading microorganisms. We recently discovered plastic degrading fungi from Pakistan, which identified to be aspergillus to begin since if I'm not mistaken. And Aspergillus tubigensis is a common fungi that you can isolate from the soil. In the Philippines, there are a lot of habitats we have not explored for fungi. And I believe that this one, perhaps one of these habitats could harbor uh, also plastic degrading uh, fungi, which can help in, in degrading or the, uh, removing plastics from, from our environment. Hindi lang feasible, possible. Yeah. I told you, biodegradable plastic. Kasi, if you have an organism with the plastic in that thing, what is the plastic made up of, by the way? Essentially, carbon. And the metabolic activities of organisms or of all living things, including us, what is it for? Carbon. Our bodies, the part of it is really nothing but carbon. Mm -hmm. For energy. See? Mm -hmm. So if you have an organism producing plastic in the cells, that means they are going to tap that plastic in the cell for later use. How will they do that? They can break it down. Mm -hmm. In other words, what they stored, they can use later on. So, hindi lang feasible, possible. That's why we said we have biodegradable plastic. Sa pamamagitan ng siyensya, patuloy kami maghahanap ng solusyon sa mga problema natin na kinaharap tungkol sa plastic pollution. At naniniwala ko na matatagpon din namin ang pinaka-efektibong punjay na plastic eaters o halamang singaw. Thank you.